Welcome to my video. To get new educational videos and updates, please subscribe to my channel. I'd be very grateful if you could please like and share this video, which I hope will give you a beneficial knowledge. There are four secrets for any intraocular lens implantation during cataract surgery. Make sure the bag is inflated, the size of the wound is fitting the injector or the forceps and the correct intraocular lens uh, orientation and make sure the lens is inside the bag to avoid uveitis and glaucoma. Our lens today is Acris Adapt AO. It has four haptics and there is indicator taps on the two of the haptics for the proper orientation of the lens. It is uh, aspheric, aberration free, uh, hydrophilic, acrylic, UV blocker lens and um, the optical performance is not uh, affected by the decentration or the pupil size. It has very wide range of diopteric power from 0 till 30 diopters and the overall diameter differs and it is very safe but has got very rare side effects like PCO and opacification. Um, so first we make sure that the cohesive OVD is inflating the bag well. Then we enlarge the inner side of the wound to avoid dismiss membrane detachment while injecting the lens. So the assistant is putting the OVD in the tip of the injector till the line and then one drop of OVD in the loading deck of the injector. Then we remove the IOL from the vial. By non toothed forceps remove the IOL from the yellow holder from the optic and try to be on the periphery of the optic not the central part. Then we'll put the interocular lens in the loading deck and we push on the intraocular lens from the four haptics and make sure that the orientation of the lens is correct. So I am pointing here on the indicator tab which is up and to the left as shown in the diagram here. And you make sure the optic is fitting the plunger so as shown in this diagram, this is the plunger, the white one down here, and you have to push the lens. So the plunger, the white plunger is coming forward here and we push the lens to fit the plunger from its optic. Then we close the loading deck and another time here. So when you are comfortable with the position you can close the loading deck and you have to fit the tip that has the OVD in its place and there is a click that you can feel. Then you rotate the injector 180 degrees. So here we close the loading deck and then we put the tip and then we rotate 180 degrees to have the bevel of the injector down. Again here the optic is fitted into the white plunger and the orientation is correct. Then we can close the loading deck. Then we fit the tip of the injector and with the loading bends inside and the bevel down with rotatory movement not to disrupt the incision and you go with the injector till the edge of the capsule axis to make sure you are implanting the leading haptics in the bag 
as shown here you can go with the plunger forward and backward just to make sure that the lens is implanted inside the bag and make sure of the indicator uh, tabs that they are in the correct position up now you can see the edge of the capsule axis is overlapping the optic and we can wash the OBD I can press on the wound to remove some of the cohesive OBD then with the IA irrigation aspiration we can remove the rest of the OBD to avoid any rise of the intraocular pressure post-operatively then we do hydration of the wound and injection of the intracameral antibiotics this lens can be used as a scleral fixation in cases of aphakia as well we'll discuss this technique later thank you for watching